What is up guys? Welcome back to another Salation Wednesday. A little install. So we're installing some rally armor on the my SI. So you still have the $20 ones. The YouTube ones are looking good, so I got myself <laughs> some polyurethane ones. Went from 20 bucks to 100 bucks. Yeah, 100. Quick little upgrade. No big deal. Nice and flappy. Check that out. They're gonna go on on this piece right here. Quick walkthrough. Carbon fiber hood. Vortex generator. Some good looking tail lights. And it's about to be some hot boy mud flaps. It used to be these right here. Little You see those plastic ass mud flaps. But now, got a little upgrade. Shout out to the Subi over there. Mm -hmm. But anyways, first things first. He's already got like a little template going here. Uh, we're making a new template for you guys, so you guys know. So I already have my old template from my other, my previous flaps. So for the front ones, I'm gonna use a template. For the back ones, we're gonna do a completely new thing because these are heavier and a little thicker than the other ones. Oh, but first, what you wanna do is oh. Oh, oh, yeah, no. don't yeah, don't drop stuff. Make a template of your rally armor, and then you know figure out what your car has the points. But if you have a Honda Civic, you'll know there's one, two, and the third one back there that you can use to mine up these. My, what is it? A mud flaps to the car. That's what I use for the front ones. The back ones, we're gonna have to drill into it. I didn't do that the first time because I was scared to drill into my car. But hey, now nah, I'm not. All right, so we got one, two, and three. That's what we, same on the passenger side. And that's what we gotta do for the front ones. So yeah, the, first, the front ones are pretty easy. Back ones, a little bit more trickier, but we'll get it figured out. No big deal. All right, I don't think you guys have seen the inside of this car. Again, this is a 2017 Honda Civic Si. He's got the, the K tuner there. Okay. Little steering wheel. Nice. 10 speed, double clutch automatic. Yeah, don't move this. Yeah. He's a charge. There's your speedometer gauges and all that. Center console. Little. What is this thing, bro? This thing is hella tiny. Yeah, that's what she said. But yeah, quick little inside look, just in case you guys have never seen it. Pushin, bro. Did you get oh, my Pusheen, bro? Yeah, this guy. Pusheen hit me up with the sponsorship. Yeah, quick little look. All right, here's a better look of what we're talking about. We're gonna use the. Yeah, we're gonna use the previous holes. Yeah, yeah. The same ones I used. We're gonna use the previous holes that are already on the car, and we're talking about this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, that one right there. And the one way back there. And then, so it's pretty much gonna be held on by three bolts. All right. What you might want to need is what we call roll on the set. It's a little snub uh -huh. screwdriver, a little snubby. You know, unscrew it. The template, bro. Oh, wow. Hey, look, you the Whose man's is this? Anyways, oh, show you guys how to use the template real quick. Just lower this a little bit. All right, so you get your cardboard and then you put it up however you want the mud flap to look, and then you kind of figure out where your holes are at and you make holes on here and that's pretty much it and then you take this and you put it on top of the mud flap and then you just mark where, where your holes are at you mark where the holes are at and you drill them on the, mud flap, on the actual mud flap and then it will just pop on right into place easy as that all right, so right here, he's already got his little holes mapped out. Now he's uh, 
he lined up the mud flap with his little template. And now he's Boom. marking. Really, he had the holes at. The panel side though. See the template, driver side, just flip it backwards, passenger side. So the panel side mud flap. Now we're gonna get the driver mud flap, drill into it, and then mount it on. Boom. Easy as that. All right, he's already got his holes lined up. He's about to drill the first one. No question. That wasn't there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, city. Property damage. I right, got them holes. Got the holes lined up, After, uh, drilled um, out. Crime. Here we go, attempt number one. Here's kind of the uh, semi-finished product of the front one. He's already got his hardware in there. And then he's just missing the, the other one back there, but that's pretty much how it's gonna look. He said he was going really hot boy, so nice and, nice and flashy and sticks out a lot. Extra hot boy points for that. Right now, doing the other side, he's already got it drilled. He's just putting the bolts in there. So yeah, once you figure out where the holes are at and we line it up properly, Pretty easy. Everything else is pretty, pretty simple. Alright, and here's the uh, passenger side. Closer look at how everything works. So pretty much where your stock hardware is at is what we use. So just use the template to mark out where the holes are. And you drill them on the mud flap. Make sure you get hardware. It should be pretty good. And that should be... Pretty solid, they ain't going anywhere. And that's for your, what is this, tension? Tension Civic. Tension Civic SI. Ooh. And then we'll go ahead and get started on the back ones in a bit. One eternity later. All right guys, we are back for the rear mud flaps now. These are gonna be a little bit more complicated. We have holes for two of them, and then we're just gonna need to make a a third hole there somewhere. We're gonna come come up with some crazy fabrication, bro. What do you think? Oh, it turns out good. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, take off the wheel, and then we'll show you guys yeah, what we're gonna do. We gotta jack out the car first, buddy. Yeah, we'll jack the car up and then take off the wheel, and then whatever. You guys will see right now. Don't worry, we'll be back. All right guys, so here's a closer look at the rear wheel well. Is it wheel well? Yeah, wheel well. passenger side. Yeah, whatever, passenger side. Um, as you can see, there's like no plastic or anything to hold the mud flap. So we only got mounting points right here, but what we decided to do, there was a clip, a clip right there, just popped it off. So now we have kind of like a mounting point, not really, but what we came up with was to use this little piece of metal, like a little bracket. So we're going to attach it with a little plastic rivet, boom, on there, that way we have another like local auto zone. Yeah, we got these at uh, AutoZone. Check these out, these are... Show these, show these. Yeah, these yeah. are... Oh. Genie Mesh Fudge Nissan. These are a uh, Nissan... 20 horsepower extra. Nissan body splash retainers. And we're gonna use them right here. And now we have a little mounting bracket for... to hold the mud flat back here. But we'll get all this installed and then we'll show you guys how we install the actual mud flat. Okay, TG. All right, guys. So here's pretty much the final product. 
We've got one bolt, two bolt. This one's kind of like a plastic one. Three bolt, and then that little baggy piece of it. It is kind of a little flabby, but that should be fine. That's the whole purpose of these. Okay, bro, I'm a vlogging over here. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. Oh, is that the NASCAR crew? Anyways, one, two, these were, these holes were there already. So we just put our own hardware on there. And then this one, we kind of had to make our own hole. It's right there. So we had to drill into the panel, but just to give it a little more um, stabilization. stabilization. But yeah, and then our little bracket that we made, I'll show you guys the backside of that. Yep, all custom fab. And you can see nice and flappy sticks out hot boy but yep that's pretty much it it's as easy as that don't forget to use your uh your little cardboard template that way you can line up all the holes to match whatever your heart desires on like how much you want it to stick out how low you want it and all that good stuff but that's pretty much it for this side and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and the front one's already done, so we should be pretty solid. Yeah, man. All right, guys, here's the uh, driver's side. Boom, 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 nice and flappy, flap, mud flap. But same thing, we use a little bracket thing, use this hole up here, and then that's that. Again, pre existing hole, pre existing hole. Somebody mess up there. How's you, bro? Anyways, and then the drill, the drill, the hole that we drilled, just like on the other side, onto the body panel. But that's pretty much it. Just a nice, just a nice flappy mud flap. Just need to put the wheels back. And yep, just need to put the wheel back. The other side already has a wheel. Put the wheel on and then we'll show you the final product. Dang, hot boy. Clearly. Cause we're not working on the car. Hey. Just some night flat nice flap action. Kind of matches with the red emblem. You can kind of see the front ones. Oh, front and back and side to side. And Alright guys, that is gonna do it for today's install. Quick little, little flap, flap action. action. Somewhere down there? Yeah, somewhere down there. But yeah, anyways, um, what are we gonna do next time? Oh, we might get a little... Surprise! Yeah. Uh... On track, get your shit together. <laughs> supposed, to be here, supposed to be here soon. I hope yeah, we're here soon. But this guy's got big shipment coming in. You guys gonna see that? A couple videos around maybe. 
next video we'll probably do my mud flaps. So you see my car back there? Subi out there somewhere. Yeah. That uh slow subi over there. Anyways, uh that'll do it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it. Uh hey, better give it like we did a high requested video of yeah. how to install mud flaps on the tenth gen. This is a Honda, they don't make kits for this, so we kinda made our own. So give us a thumbs up for that. Right. Subscribe, share it, tell everybody to subscribe, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, Rally Armor, whoever, Rally Armor, subscribe, check it out, sponsor us. Anybody? We'll make kits for you. <laughs> anyway. Send us universal mudflaps, we'll make the kits. See, there you go. Boom. Hook us up. We'll hook you guys up. Alright, peace out, and always keep improving.